Assassin's Creed Valhalla to me serves as the third installment in the new era of Assassin's Creed games which started with Origins all the way back in 2017. This style of a much more fast paced action RPG style of game is something I found myself really enjoying and though I may stand in the minority of fans who really enjoyed Odyssey, for anyone who was looking for an entry that somewhat returns to its roots, then Valhalla is certainly a game you would like to play. When it comes to the main game's plot, this is unfortunately the weakest element of this entire game. Even though at the time of this review, I've only put about 30 hours into this game's plot and therefore had to look ahead online to see how things played out, I can openly say that the way this plot's played out, with all these different elements crammed into its story, that it was never going to work for me. For starters, this animus element is still awful, and this concept has never worked for me since the very beginning. I can openly confess that the animus is the single worst plot device I have ever seen in any video game franchise, and the only reason it exists is because Ubisoft has this sick obsession with trying to connect different time periods and eras that have no business connecting with each other because they are separated by hundreds if not thousands of years placed all throughout the globe. It's like trying to mix multiple different chemicals that shouldn't be mixed up. It'll openly end up blowing up in your face. After the Ezio trilogy concluded, they would have been better off going down the Final Fantasy route with these games and simply making each game its own independent story, and these games would have been so much better off that way. But as long as this animus element is here, it will continue to hold these games back. It also doesn't help that for me at least, I could not get into a single member of this cast. Because the main protagonist's decisions are decided completely on the player, that makes it impossible for the main protagonist to have any defining qualities because it is all player decided. Even after 30 hours, it really is up to the characters' interactions with the rest of the cast members in order to define them, and that just didn't happen for me. You could almost compare Evor to Shepard from the Mass Effect, except the fact that whether or not you choose to play as a Paragon or a Renegade in that game is the incredible cast of characters around Shepard that help define that particular version that you've selected. But the cast around Evor is just so forgettable and without the subtitles, I would have had no idea who anybody is as heck, the moment they left, I completely forgot who they are. And then Ubisoft thought it was a smart idea to add this whole Asgard storyline that felt completely out of place and should have been part of its own game. So when you have all these different story elements mixing together that end up blowing up in my face, so much so that I have to openly confess that I have simply given up on trying to follow this plot. This has not happened to me since Assassin's Creed Revelations back in 2011. Now, Revelations story was something I just got tired of, but the Halo storyline is something that is simply frustrating for me to even try to understand. So with the story for me failing so hard for this game at least, it is really entirely up to the gameplay to hold it up, and I can gladly say that this game manages to pull that off amazingly. When it comes to its gameplay, I can say that 60% of it plays just like the two previous installments in Origins and Odyssey, so for anyone who's a fan of either of those games will easily be able to pick this game up and start playing. Exploration like the previous two games is excellent, and it even gives you the ability to travel between multiple different regions, and each one visually looks beautiful and very distinctive, giving this game multiple different varieties of locations. Since some of these areas are so big, you will find yourself traveling in your boat a lot, but instead of large pools of water, you will mostly find yourself spending a lot of time going up and down rivers, and there's certainly a number of beautiful sights to see while sailing. When it comes to combat, that too feels very similar to Origins and Odyssey. However, I do have one big problem that holds this version of the combat system back a little bit. For some reason, Ubisoft thought it was a good idea to add a stamina meter, which seriously slows down combat depending on whether you're using light or heavy attacks and the type of weapons that you were using, as it can quickly deplete your stamina, thereby leaving you open to attacks. Another serious issue that this version of the combat system has is that you cannot heal on your own. Before, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Origins, your health would replenish the longer you didn't get hit or when you escaped the battle. However, this time around, you can only heal by collecting rations, and early on you were only given a limited amount of rations that you can carry at any one time. And rations in most of the areas that you will find yourself fighting in are very few and hard to find. And because of this, I found myself having to leave battles entirely in order to search for rations, heal, and then return to the battle. And for me, this became very, very frustrating within the first 15 hours. 
But with a lot of time, this is something that you can work around. Now, it is its new additions to Valhalla that I really enjoy that help this game stand apart. After leaving Norway for the first time, it will be up to you to construct your own town, and to do so you must collect resources, and the best way to do that is to raid. While sailing up and down rivers, you can stage a raid on an area, and now lead your troops into battle to wipe out the opposing forces and steal their treasures and resources. You can then use those resources in order to improve the structures of your town. As you improve the state of your town, you can then start forming alliances with other groups. The RPG element this time around has been greatly expanded upon, and there are all kinds of different weapons that you can collect and attach runes to in order to improve the quality of your weapons. A major addition to the collection of weapons this time around is that instead of always searching for weapons that have better status, you actually have the ability to level up your weapons removing any kind of pressure to seek out better weapons. If you find a weapon that you really enjoy, you can level it up a good deal. There is even an entire armor set that, once equipped, can grant you special perks with the addition of runes that can be attached to your weapons and armor to enhance your combat performance even more. As you level up and collect skill points, you can then use these skill points to increase the capabilities of your character as your skill map is divided into three categories, those being melee, range, and stealth, giving you much more freedom in this game to build your character to fit whatever playstyle you want. There are even a number of powerful special attack and abilities that you can collect from special books which will encourage anyone to take a break from the main story objectives in order to explore and find these books and become an even more dangerous combatant. When it comes to the game design department, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, like the two previous installments, is a very well made game. Now that's something that I have to admit Ubisoft is very consistent in doing when it comes to the Assassin's Creed games, and they know how to make good games that play well, sound great, and look amazing. However, it's not entirely perfect, and there are certainly a number of technical issues that could have been smoothed out. However, some of them can actually be quite funny, but there is nothing here technically that breaks the game, and this is pretty much guarantees that fans of this series will get many hours of enjoyment out of the newest installment in this long-running franchise. Now I gotta admit, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was a really interesting experience so far. It's been quite some time since I've played a game that story failed so miserably for me. However, its gameplay actually exceeded my expectations. And I know that there's a number of individuals that don't have the issues with the story and animus as I do. But I have to admit, out of the three primary new entries in this new era of Assassin's Creed games, this unfortunately has to be my least favorite. Which actually kind of mirrors my experience with the Ezio trilogy in the form of the second one was great, I thought Brotherhood was even better, but once it got to Revelations, it just didn't quite work for me. However, I can honestly say that this trilogy of games actually works out a little bit better. Now, again, this isn't bad. It is not perfect, and I know there's a number of people that are probably getting enjoying it more than I did, but there is certainly enough that any fan of the franchise will certainly enjoy here, as I certainly did, but my experience with this game is, or really the more positive elements of my experience, is based entirely on its gameplay. Its story just is just a non-element at this point. So if I had to give Assassin's Creed Valhalla a rating, to be honest, though it is my least favorite of these new set of Assassin's Creed games, I would give it a 7.5, and I think that for a game which has a story as awful as this one, at least to me, that's a pretty impressive accomplishment, at least in my book. So those are my thoughts on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you happen to have played this game, I'd love for you to share your thoughts with me and everyone else in the comments down below. And if you happen to enjoy this review, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button if you happen to enjoy content like this and would like to see more from me. And like always, thank you guys for watching, you're awesome, and I will see you next time. Yeah.